वॉचिंग द न्यूज आवर स्पेशल एडिशन Welcome back from a petty goon in the rural outskirts of Kanpur to a dreaded criminal and a dabang neta Vikas Dubey has enjoyed quite a clout in the past few decades the gangster rose to prominence with a cold blooded murder of a VVIP he then went on to be named in several criminal cases with almost 60 FIRs against him but was it just his criminal background that helped him strengthen his hold in all of Kanpur or were there bigger powers backing this hardened criminal let's take a look at this report 19 years ago a hardened criminal shot down the then cabinet minister within the premises of a police station almost two decades later he scripted what was one of the most dastardly attacks on the men in hockey eight policemen killed seven injured in an attack in the dead of the night as they entered the gangster's fortified mansion More than 24 hours later Vikas Dubey is still on the run. Over two dozen special teams have been formed to nab the murderer and it's not just the cops who want him to pay the price of his deeds. Samne aa jaye hain aur to police khud hai apan dekhiye kariye jo hum kariye hain aur agar bhagte rahe to fir kya karna chahiye police ko kyunki bechare bahut masoom log the jinki jaan chali gayi. Koi baat do jab do ke bhagi ho to to counter kariye police. Kaun ram to gadi pakad le to counter kar de. The state has also made its intent clear. Anyone who dares to challenge the system will have to pay a massive price. Well, the law finally catching up uh, with uh, Vikas Dubey, the dreaded gangster who was responsible for gunning down eight cops in cold blood uh, yesterday when they had come to raid his house uh, early morning. The JCB here has been at work is at his house uh, in Bikru village uh, on the outskirts of uh, Kanpur city. As a mega manhunt is underway to find the murderer of these eight policemen, skeletons are tumbling out of the closet. poster of the leader's wife has surfaced which also adorns mug shots of samajwadi party leaders mulaim and akhilesh yadav allegedly from the time when she contested panchayat polls meanwhile a congress neta has tweeted an undated image of the gangster with a bjp minister alleging political patronage a massive political fight has now erupted with leaders from all sides trying to downplay the goons's link with their party and passing the buck on to the next As political parties indulge in blame game, it's the families of the eight slain policemen who wait eagerly for justice. Pure report, Times Now. You're watching the News Hour Special Edition, Debate Number Two, on Times Now, Super Prime Time. Joining us on this debate are Anla Singh, spokesperson of the BJP. With us is Ishkaran Bandari, advocate. Dushan Nagar, political analyst, continues to be with us. As does Abhishek Mishra, spokesperson of Samajwadi Party. Also with us, uh, joining us now is Raghav Chadha, MLA, and spokesperson of the Aam Aadmi Party. I'd like to begin by asking Abhishek Mishra. Abhishek Mishra, you would have seen the report that we just played out. The fact is that the wife. of this person vikas dubey was given a ticket of the samajwadi party so when the samajwadi party comes out and says the stringent action must be taken it does appear to be a tad bit hypocritical he was patronized by the samajwadi party sir ah uh, madhav uh, firstly let me pay my uh, most sincere condolences to the families of the bereaved uh, and eight brave soldiers who died in that episode I think it was the most uh, ghastly act ever against Uttar Pradesh uh, Uttar Pradesh police on record and I would also like to set the record straight here that not even once never ever has he been a part of the Samajwadi party uh, I I've, I've seen this uh, uh, you know the poster that you've shown I've also seen his posters in uh, BSP colors and I've also seen his photographs with a BJP cabinet minister but that is that is beyond the point My, what i'm trying to clarify the that's I, even the, worse i leave that for other parties two wrongs clarify, don't make it right but he is never sir if he received patronage from the samajwadi party and samajwadi he received patronage party. from the bjp that does not that does not mean that either the sp or the bjp were correct 
I will ask the BJP this question, sir. But can you please tell me this no, 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 uh, it poster that is on your screen, sir? This poster that is on your screen is where Mr. Akhilesh Yadav, Mulayam Mother, Singh Yadav, exactly the wife of I Mr. Said. Vikas Dubey, Richa Dubey is her name, and <laughs> Vikas Yadav were all present. Did yes. the Samajwadi Party take action to remove this uh, but, or object uh, to it at the time? No, no. Uh, once again, you know. Mother, Despite the fact that this he was a history sheet, uh, then also, sir. Actually, incorrect poster. He was never ever. You know, he was never ever given a ticket by Samajwadi Party. He was I'm not never, saying he was. His wife was. Member of Samajwadi Party. His wife it was, was a given a ticket. It doesn't matter that you can choose to you can choose to play one question one. Sorry. His wife was given a ticket for the Say local again, body mother. elections, there, sir. Are you denying that? No, he was not. No, he was not. His he, wife he was, was not. I'm I'm absolutely contradicting that. It's a f no, no. He was, it, she was never given a ticket. Never, ever, never, ever. As it is true that I and you are doing this debate today, it is equally true that she was never ever given a ticket. Your information on that account is factual. Sir, it's incorrect. not just me. It's several uh, news organizations have reported that. that. Shot a it's not just me. But I, he, I, had okay. shot a, he had shot a darja prapt Raj Mantri within okay. the Ghana. At that time, it was a UP may BJP government. Okay, okay. Government I want to quickly bring in. We have limited time, so I want to quickly bring in other panelists also. Anila Singh, is it a fact that, courage, that A, he was not given a ticket, his wife was not given no. a ticket, and B, that he is also seen with several prominent BJP leaders, including law minister? Mother, first of all, you know, doesn't need any art to get revealed. And the truth is that holdings, they do not lie. And the holdings reveal that uh, because Dubey, his wife, uh, they were there on the holding with the senior Samajwadi party leaders. We very well know that how Samajwadi party used to shelter no, mother, these criminals. That's like whole of the whole of the UP land, they, it so was infested no by criminals. Now. It was infested by criminals. And if we talk about Samajwadi party leaders, if we talk about BSP leaders, like uh, the, and they 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 visited on the lap of these criminals. And tuneless government of Samajwadi Party ESP, they were never ever able to take any firm uh, decision. What about the law minister, ma'am? So what about Rajesh Pathak? Our came in Uttar Pradesh in the leadership of Yogi Ma'am, what about Rajesh Pathak's photo? That his second name became the encounter. Anila Singh, is because it's all very well to ask questions of the SP. But what about Rajesh Pathak's photo with uh, Vikas Dubey? How do you explain that? Mr. Mr. Even Mr. Patak, you know, he was uh, he was in some other political party before he joined the Bharatiya Janata Party. Ah. So I just want to, no, I want to give you clarity because Yogi Adityanath Ji is not going to tolerate any such sort of nuisance. He is known as encounter chief minister of many of his rival political parties. You know, this is the so, problem. This is the problem. And I want to bring in Raghav Chadda on this. Raghav Chadda, you know, we are seeing the slagging match between SP and the BJP. But the question is this. The fact is that hardened criminals are in fact promoted by a series of political parties. They hop from one political party to the other. They enjoy patronage over the years. And this just emboldens them to do the kind of dastardly acts that we saw before yesterday. Well, first of all, Mother, my heartfelt condolences to the families of those who, uh, you know, lost their uh, bed-winning soldiers, martyrs, uh, and, you know, our, our men in khaki. Now, you know, this is a matter of fact and a matter of record that all three leading political parties of the state of Uttar Pradesh, the Samajwadi Party, the Indian National Congress, as well as the BJP, had some link at some point or the other with the criminal uh, who has been responsible for killing eight men in khaki. There are photographs of their political leaders and political senior leaders of their party with the criminal. There is no doubt in one's mind that yes, the criminal has been enjoying political patronage from every political color that exists in Uttar Pradesh. And that is a very, very worrisome uh, fact. Number two, we are talking of an encounter where the police force of the state of Uttar Pradesh was clearly outnumbered uh, and perhaps what reports are suggesting were inadequately armed. They were underarmed and their arms and ammunition that they, were, they, uh, they had uh, were inferior to the ones possessed by the criminals. So it appears that, you know, they were asked to go and conduct this encounter in this manner only to It was a killed. trap. This is extremely... It was virtually extremely, a trap. I agree with you. It was virtually a trap. And also the fact that there was a cop who's now been suspended only raises and, questions. And, only absolutely. raises questions. And, and, and may I just... Yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're right. And not just that. 
there were 18 the newspaper report suggests there were 18 more murders in the state of uttar pradesh on that day itself okay. apart from the encounter okay so the kind of lawlessness that exists in the state of uttar pradesh is deeply deeply distressing you all know? right that, that's you a fair know, point let me let me let me take that question across to ishkar i think you've made an important point ishkar may i just the, say yeah. one last thing mother yeah yeah one very quickly thing. quickly make your you point see, i want to go across to ishkar and after that you see if in a state those who are supposed to provide safety and security to the people of the state are themselves not safe and secure yeah. then it really reflects it's a, it's, it's, it's the absolutely absolutely the state has and, the responsibility and, and of the law and order it is a state that. subject it is the state's job to ensure that the law and order machinery works in this case there are some glaring lapses uh, over here ishkaran not only were the cops outnumbered they were underarmed the fact that they went after dusk and also the fact that their information had leaked out. There's a cop who's been suspended, who's suspected mother, to have leaked that information out to this criminal. Mother, Raises some serious mother, questions, would, sir. Madhav, there is a broader question we all have to ask ourselves. And I will not say uh, politicization of criminals because we have a case of Tahir Hussain and who was in contact with the entire leadership. And we have seen how his house was an armament factory. So some people will speak for UP, others will speak for Delhi, others will speak for Karnataka. I am not getting into what political parties have connections with criminals. But we have all offered our condolences. We all have to offer our condolences. But the bigger question is, how many Tukaram omelets would we have? How many eight martyrs we had or Virgati uh, braves we had of UP police we had? When would we give them modern equipment across states? And it is not only a UP question. When would they go for operations with proper bulletproof jackets with the modern machinery which can outgun criminals and are a generation better than criminals? That is what happens in all democracies, even in totalitarian states. In fact, it happens. So the bigger question we have to address here is on criminalization of politics, every political party will point fingers at others and every political party has a lot to answer for. But on safety of policemen, it's high time across India we give them enough equipment and enough security gear so that these incidents don't happen. Whether it be a Mumbai attack, where a Dukara Mumble bravely with a lucky captured a criminal, right. or we have equations like this. That is what we need to do, otherwise our condolences are absolutely empty. Absolutely. And I want to bring in Dushan Nagar on this. Dushan Nagar, BJP pe to aap sawal uthai sakte, samajwadi pe bhi, samajwadi party par bhi sawal uthai sakte, but jaysay abhi kuch dair pehle, Raghav Chadda ji ne kaha ki kahi na kahi Congress party bhi doshi hai. Is tarah criminals ko badawa dene mein Congress party ka bhi haath raha hai. Bilkul. Aur tab ja ke is tarah ki vardat hi hoti, is tarah ki ghatna hi hoti hai. Mein khas kar Uttar Pradesh ke vishay mein kehna chahata hoon, ke Uttar Pradesh mein apradiyo ko sanrakshan dene mein sabhi dal sanlipt rahe hain. ये बिल्कुल पिछले 10 साल का आप रिकॉर्ड उठा के देख लिए या 2000 से अभी तक देख लीजिए कई प्रमुख प्रमुख जो माफिया है वो समय समय पे जिसकी सरकार आती है उसके संरक्षण में चले जाते हैं कोई राजनीतिक दल अछूता नहीं है लेकिन मैं याद दिलाना चाहूंगा माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी ने 2013 में जब वो कैंपेनिंग कर रहे थे प्रधानमंत्री पद के दावेदार थे उम्मीदवार थे तो उन्होंने कहा था पॉलिटिशियंस के लिए स्पेशल कोर्ट बनाऊंगा और एक साल के अंदर उनका ट्रायल कंप्लीट होगा गवाहों को विशेष सुरक्षा दी जाएगी पुलिस का इक्विपमेंट वेल इक्विप किया जाएगा लेकिन सर कुछ हुआ नहीं पुलिस को अच्छे संसाधनों से आप सर पहले पेट्रोलिस देना बंद करिए सर पहले पेशेंट पेट्रोलिस देना बंद करिए और फिर सवाल उठाइए बट आई वांट इशकरन टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू दैट इशकरन हैज अ गवर्नमेंट फेल इन इट्स प्रॉमिसेस टू द पीपल एज फार एज इंप्रूविंग द लॉ एंड ऑर्डर मशीनरी एंड द जस्टिस डिलीवरी मशीनरी इज कंसर्न पुलिस दैट इज व्हाई आई सेड आई डोंट वांट टू गेट इनटू पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज but please understand, under our constitution, law and order as a such state subject, what equipment a police of any state has, has no role to do with the Prime Minister of India. So let us please and uh, not put these things out for political purposes. Hey, GST the Prime Minister of everything. Okay. Let's not do that. Okay. Covid ka paisa to jani ra. Raghav wants to counter you on that. Yes, Raghav Chadha. No, I don't. Look, yeah. we can yeah. go and... Yeah. One at a time. Gentlemen, one at a time, please. One at a time. I'm going to come to each of you. We have limited time. Raghav, okay. make your point. For a, for a very long time, there has been this ongoing debate in the country about uh, modernizing the weaponry that the armed forces as well as the police forces in, de, in, in this country possess. As far and, and along with that, the independence of the uh, state police forces. There was a, a landmark judgment for casting versus Union of India of the Supreme Court that talks at length about these things. 
and you know these political parties have promised that once we come to power we will implement we will modernize we will do this we will do that we will give them protection so on and so forth but uh, unfortunately i mean if you if, since we are talking about uttar pradesh in up for the last three and a half years you have had a bjp run government headed by yogi adityanath at the center you have a bjp run government for almost 6 years but the most populous state in india and their policemen are being butchered literally butchered by criminals and it shows you know the kind of apathy that the state government has had towards the police force and it's time that we stand with our men in khaki right. i mean the brutal and i want to take that question and i want to take that question across to anila singh because anila singh you know i don't think i completely agree with ishkaran bandari there is a bureau of police research and development the bprd in the uh, which is under the home ministry with job is just to ensure modernization so when there is a bjp government in the state and a bjp government at the center the obvious question will be asked of the bjp as to what are you doing to modernize the police forces madam Your question is absolutely genuine, and I am not going to deny the fact that police forces, not only in Uttar Pradesh but for the whole of the country, police forces needs are renovation. But coming back to uh, to the point which was raised by Mr. Dushan, Dushan ji, you are from Uttar Pradesh. You have to have this knowledge. 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 उनके तो उनको उनकी सुनवाई हुई है और उसके बाद बहुत सारे राजनीतिक जो कि एम एल हैं और दूसरे दलों से भी हैं उनके ऊपर से हटाने के मुकदमे हटाए भी गए हैं तो आप ये नहीं कह रहे हो प्रधानमंत्री जी का उदाहरण देकर कि वाराणसी में जो उन्होंने कहा वो योगी आदित्यनाथ जी ने अपने सत्ता में आने के बाद पूरा नहीं किया सो ही हैज डन हिज जॉब नाउ कमिंग बैक नाउ कमिंग बैक द पॉइंट वेर एवरीबडी लाइक एवरीबडी इज पॉइंटिंग एक्सेप्ट ईश्करण ईश्करण जी I think it is it is it is it is it is highly inappropriate for you to say that the yogi government has done its job after such a huge failure madam this is a massive please, please, failure eight policemen have died madam please have patience allow me i mean this is the this is the topic of uttar pradesh and i represent uttar pradesh in oil well i mean I exactly why i am asking you the question so that is why i get this seven and i am daughter of a police officer i'm a daughter of a police officer so you can imagine that what type of pain right now i am uh, uh, going through so these policemen you know they sacrificed their lives because they wanted to nab this person and they were attacked ghar ke bhai di lanka thai we know it very well because of dushan ji mere se bilkul is baat se sehmat honge jab ghar ka bhedi hota hai to hamare desh ke pradhan mantri ki hatya ho jati hai indra ji ki hatya kis tarah kaise hui thi हमारे राज्य की पुलिस कम संसाधनों में उत्तर प्रदेश राज्य की पुलिस काम करती है कोविड के दौरान जो उत्तर प्रदेश की पुलिस ने अच्छा कार्य किया है उसकी तुलना कहीं नहीं है उत्तर प्रदेश पुलिस को और अधिक संसाधन दिए जाए अधिक तकनीकी से लेस किया जाए तो मुझे भरोसा है कि हमारे राज्य की पुलिस अपराधियों से संगठित अपराध से हर प्रकार की समस्या से जूझने में okay. सक्षम है अभिषेक अभिषेक मिश्रा गुड़ो ऑलमोस्ट आउट ऑफ टाइम ऑन दिस डिबेट बट आई हैव टू आस्क यू दिस यू नो एज अ स्पोक्स पर्सन ऑफ द समाजवादी पार्टी टुडे कैन यू अश्योर अस दैट एवरी क्रिमिनल इन योर पार्टी दैट योर पार्टी हैज इनकरेज विल रिसीव नो प्रोटेक्शन फ्रॉम द पार्टी लीडरशिप from here on because we have to make a beginning sir and the beginning whether we talk about police Mother, modernization today tomorrow Mother, day after the fact is that I, these people receive patronage and that is why we see this kind of a situation no madam i am strongly against that uh, point that you have made i think you uh, put forward a fabricated and a wrong question we have never ever supported in fact honorable akhilesh yadav had taken a very very strong stand against a few dreaded criminals in 2012 for not joining allowing them to join the party and we have continuously uh, you know acted against criminals in during the government let me make three points here madam firstly the amount of resources that samajwadi party Quickly. government gave to the police setup right from setting up of dial hunt well, as a as a service well 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 abhishek i'm sorry but i'm completely out of time i think we leave it for our viewers to judge whether the political parties cutting across party lines cutting across ideologies and the kind of patronage that they've given to these criminal elements has led to this or it is only the lack of police modernization i think we have problem on both ends and both need urgent rectification i'd like to thank all of you for joining us on debate number 2 on the news of the evening